Okay, one more little quick ditty and why I use this ammo box. An old friend of mine, he's dead now. He owned Bull of the Woods, Blinds and Feeders, out of San Antonio, Texas. Built everything, all of his feeder units used ammo boxes. Never ever had a problem with mice in the field. Never had a problem with bees because they can't get in. If you seal this box up and you've got the lid closed, you don't have to worry about it. And that's why with the other boxes that you see that a lot of people use, and we can get them too, another 10 or 15, 20 bucks, you can get a nice cute fancy box all painted. But I guarantee you, spiders, rodents, you name it, they'll get in it, they'll eat up the wiring, whatever. This thing is completely watertight, and if you seal it off, don't cut your holes too big, it'll be waterproof for your whole system. Give you years and years of service. There you go. Here's the closed unit. I closed the door. You know, it's got a nice handle. You can pick it up. You can actually set it down on the lights as long as you don't drag it around on there as far as that's concerned you know now without the brackets on it you could actually set it down on the bottom side here would be just fine we had these brackets I just bought them at Home Depot uh, screwed them in there with self tappers put the brackets together and we had it on a 4x4 four four post now you could do the same thing out at your uh, at your hunting lease you could take a 4x4 four four post Set it in the ground. You don't have to seam in it. If it's two feet in the ground, it's not going anywhere. And you could mount it on there like that. Okay, again, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. This is a uh, ammo box. You can buy them at the Army Surplus. You'll notice one thing about it, though. It's got a very good weatherproof seal. You look inside, you can take the lid off. Pop it off by just sliding it one direction. You use the gel cell batteries, it doesn't matter. They're upside down, sideways, they don't leak. Everything is in there. Again, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. There's the exact same light with a different type of light in it. Less LEDs. You notice how the brackets are bent. You could take this thing and screw it to a tree if you want. Bend the brackets out. You want to get real deluxe, fancy brackets, camo them. That's up to you. But I'm going to tell you, the hogs don't care. You can see there's it's just different applications, different lights. Okay, I'm going to try to make this as short and sweet as possible. Very simply. There's no rocket science here. I've said it, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I do not believe in reinventing the wheel. Every part that we've used here is a part that you can buy locally if you want. Uh, online, you can buy it from us, you can buy it through eBay, whatever. Okay? <clears throat> You'll see that the lights that I used in this particular application, I did not even cut. Those go in two inch receivers. I didn't even cut the ends off. We stuck them through, we hot glued them down and sealed them. We wired them up. You see the wiring connectors, connections? Very simple, very basic. There's your solar panel. Comes in. Right there, switch. Connects in to the battery, to the lights. And of course there in the back of that you have that dawn to dusk it comes on in the evening when the sun goes down right there goes off in the morning now if you have too much light you meet, not, might need to add two batteries this particular battery is big enough to handle both 